Welcome to Device Setup, and today we will learn how to log in into your router using 192.168.0.1 IP address. This IP is used by many routers like Netgear, TP Link, D Link, etc. So, once logged in into the router, you will be able to change its SSID, password, create guest network, block sites, use parental control, enable MAC filtering etc so let's begin to start with make sure your router is plugged into the power source with stable power led also in case if you are setting it up for the first time then connect an ethernet cable from your modem to the van or internet port of the router next use your phone or computer and connect to the router's network ssid showing up in the wi-fi list you can find the default ssid written on the sticker pasted on the back side of the router some routers also ask for password which is also written on the back side of the router once connected open a browser and into the url type 192.168.0.1 and hit enter this will take you to the router's login page on the login page type the username and password to login into the router if you never change the username and password then the default one should work for you you can use google to search for default username and password of your router like for example if i want to know about my netgear router username and password then search like default username and password of netgear router similarly you can check for yours and type those and if it doesn't work then try forgot username and password option and if that also doesn't work, then only option is to reset the router. But be cautious before you do that, as resetting it to factory default settings will disconnect all your devices from router. Moreover, you will have to set up the router again from scratch. So in order to reset the router, put a paper clip inside the reset hole of the router for around 10 seconds while it is plugged in into a wall. After 10 seconds, release the pin and let the router reboot. Now try to log in again by connecting to the router's default SSID showing up in the Wi-Fi list then simply accessing its IP address. So this way you will be able to log in into your router using this IP address. Finally, if you found this video helpful then do give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Also, you guys can hire me for any technical issue related to routers, extenders, printers, security cameras, or any other Wi Fi devices. So you just simply need to email me your issue on fixallissues07 at gmail.com and I'll fix it for you on very nominal charges. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.